Well, let's get this for sure. Alright, so, here's what we got. Now, I, you know, I know we brought, we brought two of these out, and unfortunately, I don't think either one of us is going to be able to get through an entire one of these, because, no. you know, this is just absolutely sick. Michelob okay. Ultra. Michelob Ultra. So, for all you health nuts out there, this beer is for you. Oh, wait, I don't know. Eat that. Oh, it's got a twist off. It's not like it's a real beer. That's beer, right. right. They didn't I mean, graduate or really. Yeah. That's another thing, too. A good quality beer, nine times out of ten, you just get a. Uh, yeah, yeah. The 90 pound girl can't open it. So, you know, not with, but just by twist off. So. You know what? We're going to. Uh, I've got a special thing that we're going to do right after this. So, we're oh. going to open one of these for now. Yeah, because I, I don't think I, I, I can. And I almost guarantee you that after we take a sip of this, we're either going to be heading to the restroom or it'll be on the floor in front of us. I just want to show. Oh, yes. Color. Look. Difference. Real beer on, let's see, I guess it would be with Gary's left, which would be your right. Yeah, right there. And then you have the Michelob. That looks kind of like uh, horse piss here. Yeah, a little lighter than horse piss. Yeah, it does look lighter than horse piss. Oh, thanks, Gary. Hey, I no appreciate problem. that. You are sure you do. And if I'm right. Okay. So uh, this is torture for us uh, people out there. If you knew, ew. yeah, if you knew what this is doing to us, this is this is just this torture, and we're doing it for you. You know, I get a faint nose of Elmer's glue. Um, so. When smelling the beer, if you could imagine just opening the Elmer's glue you just used to have in, you know, first and second grade, you, um, taste. It, it, you that's kind of what it smells like. Um, you know, it, I, I get nothing. Yeah. Um, all right. So you can order a glass of water or a, a, a McLove Ultra. Um, but you can probably, if you're really worried that much about calories, you can probably just save the extra 55 or 65 calories and just get the water. <laughs> because actually the water probably tastes better than this. Um, it's kind of like rice water. Mm. Um, that it is. Uh, Blackster Boy Dave is uh, asking us if it's apple cider. And then he also pointed out that they use horses for glue, don't they? Yes. Yeah, so if it looks like horse piss and tastes like glue, then it's probably Michelob Ultra. <laughs> and so, uh, thanks for the question there, Dave. It's, um, so this is torture. Now, if you, again, compare the Allagash 4 Ale, it, um, geez, it's just, why do we do this to ourselves, Gary? To remind us what good beer tastes like and to remind us never to drink this again unless it's the absolute last thing on earth. And, um... So, therefore, uh, for all you fitness nuts out there that will come in and ask either Gary or myself at our respective businesses, you got a Michelob Ultra, you got a white beer? No! No, we don't have a Michelob Ultra! It sucks! And light beer? Work out! Why are you drinking? Get your ass out and work out. Why are you drinking at all? Work out a little harder. Yeah. It's not that hard. You can have a couple beers if you have a couple of good beers. You don't have to drink 58 of these <laughs> to get bloated, which makes you think you got a buzz when you really don't. Yeah, but that's the thing about it, too, is that I could never get a buzz off this. I could never get a buzz off this. I could drink it and drink it and drink it until I'm filled with Michelob Ultra from head yeah. to toe and just have to pee. Coca-Cola has more, oomph. probably has more oomph than that. That's just disgusting. All right, this disgusting. is going to lead into my uh, 